Hey besties, Resonate by Chanel here. So I was looking for a new scary story and guys, I've been having a hard time finding a good story on Reddit, but this one, oh, I love it. <laughs> so make sure that you stay to the end and let me know what you think about this story. And I will be putting a link to the original post on Reddit so that you can show the original poster some love. All right guys, so without further ado, here we go. Case number 273402, status disastrous. I stare at the file and realize I have no options. Over the last two years, every monster assigned to Charlotte Dower has quit. Every last one. Her first monster, a giant goldfish faced humanoid named Bubba, had been with her for four years and then she just wasn't scared of him anymore. After that, it was a string of different common, uncommon, and rare monsters. I even assigned a sentient sock monster to her. He came back crying. I look on my tablet, only one assignable monster left, myself. Field work has never been my cup of tea, but desperate times call for desperate measures. So at 8.03 p.m. after Miss Gideon tucks in Charlotte and her little brother Daniel, I slither into the space beneath Charlotte's bed. Across the room underneath Daniel's crib is a rookie, Chico, a standard creep kind of monster. I turn my attention to the bed above me. Charlotte is still awake, but barely. I reach up over the bed and run an ice cold finger over her cheek. Silence. So I do it again. I'm not afraid of you, monster. She whispers, but her voice is shaking. I can see a small clock on her wall. 8.15. A door somewhere in the house slams and there is an audible hitch of breath from above me. A few minutes go by and I can hear Francis Gideon yelling at his wife. There are heavy footsteps on the stairs and loud panting breaths. Charlotte scrambles off the bed and she crawls under the bed with me. Move over, Charlotte hisses at me. I do. The door of the bedroom slams open and I can smell the stench of human intoxicants before the man even steps inside. I know why Charlotte isn't afraid of any of my monsters. She's afraid of her own. Francis reaches a hand under the bed and I thrust my wrist into it. He starts to pull and I slither out. What the f I cut Francis's next words off by unfolding my full 12 foot height. Looming over the drunken man, I caress my cold fingers down his face. If you ever touch, scare, or harm my child again, I will find you and I will do the same to you for an eternity. I promised him. As Francis runs from the room, he soils himself. I pull Charlotte from under the bed, tuck her back under her covers, and kiss her forehead goodnight. I'll be back tomorrow night. Sleep well, darling. Charlotte Dower is my child, and I am the monster under her bed. All right, Resonators. So I found that story on the subreddit, Wholesome No Sleep. So I love this subreddit because it has a bunch of scary stories with wholesome endings. And I just love that. Give me like the warm and fuzzies at the end so it doesn't have to be so negative, you know? <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys think about that story. And let me know if you want to hear me do more stories from that subreddit. Also, besties, you have to let me know what you think about the final results to one of my latest jars. So for this one, I just wanted to use two of my favorite colors, pink and blue. And I also wanted to work with some of my alcohol inks because I am trying to figure out how to incorporate those into more of my art. So you guys have to let me know what you think about the final results. I just, I mean, I'm biased, I know, because these are my favorite colors. And I just love the sparkly silver glitter added to it. It's not, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, it's not exactly what I was going for. I wanted it to be more clear. But either way, I think I kind of messed it up when I started doing the toothpick work at the end. But you guys, let me know what you think about the final results. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, drop some blue and pink emojis in the comments to show me that you're a true supporter. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because a good amount of my viewers haven't even subscribed yet. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell so that you won't miss my next video. All right, besties. Thank you so much for watching. I am so, so grateful and I will see you in the next video. Stay kind, stay amazing, and keep on resonating. Peace.